yeah It's in my blood, no, I couldn't run for me No, no I knew I was meant to be greater Thank God that I live in his favor This was never about the work of my labor Only here cause the heart of a savior Bigger than me, but the feeling is major, I Never thought I would've made it, I But limit what God can take his I Had a fire out behind hide inside I think it's time I engage in life Think it's time I set it free See the spirit when you looking at me Ready for war, I never retreat Dog in him and I cut off the leash Well, Audrey, I don't know about you, but I'm hyped up. That is really exciting. So am I. Good morning, Carrollton High School, and welcome to the Carrollton Morning Announcements. I'm Audrey Browning. And I'm Luke Zimmer, and we're your hosts for Friday, September 13th, 2024. We made it to the end of the week. It's a really, really exciting day. Thank but goodness. It's National Blame Someone Else Day. So, Mrs. Sewell, if you see a Chia pet growing in your sink, it's Audrey. What? Bring change to mind, we'll have the first club meeting of the year on Tuesday the 17th after school in Mr. Harvey's room. Come on out and help us plan for a great year. And if you missed our interest meeting last week but are still interested in joining Beta Club this year, please scan the QR code around the school or the one behind us to complete the application. Applications will not be accepted after October 1st and if you have any questions you can contact Mrs. Aikens or Mrs. Keith. The yearbook staff is currently looking for students to submit throwback pictures from elementary and middle school. Photos of students in Trojan gear is preferable but not required. Please scan the QR code posted around the school to submit your photo and submit that picture by October 1st to be entered into a drawing to win free coffee passes to be used in the media center. Three coffee passes is a big deal. That's actually a great value. But please don't send in your think bath pictures from your childhood because no one wants to see that. The first Spanish Honor Society meeting of the year will be held on Wednesday, September 25th in Doctora Townsend's room. You must attend either the 8:10 a.m. morning meeting or the 3:25 p.m. afternoon meeting. There will be an FCCLA meeting on Tuesday, September 17th before school at 7:45 and after school at 3:25. Anyone who's taken or is planning to take culinary arts or the education pathway next semester, please feel free to join us. If you're planning to come to the morning meeting, please see Mrs. Dill or Mrs. Blankenship for a pass. During this meeting, our new officers will be installed. The ROV Club will meet in Mrs. Long's room B115 after school on Tuesday, September 17th. Students interested in starting dual enrollment classes at the University of West Georgia or at West Georgia Technical College second semester must attend a dual enrollment meeting information meeting. Sessions will be held on Wednesday, September 18th and Thursday, September 19th before school at 7.45 a.m. and after school at 3.15 p.m. Morning meetings will be held in the MAC and after school meetings will be in the library. Students must attend one of these four sessions to start dual enrollment classes second semester. Parents are welcome to attend. There will be a voter registration drive on Friday, September 13th in the Media Center for students in economics classes this semester. Those seniors who wish to register to vote and don't have economic classes this semester should see Mr. Harvey in room F205 or Ms. Fisher in room F112 for information on how to get registered. Voting is really important. You can make a big change. Please don't let them ban TikTok. I really need to see my Trish to pay this clips. It's a really important part of my day. Now on to Rose and our special guest, Evan, for Trojan Sports. Good morning, CHS. It's Friday. So Trojan Computer Science has uploaded two new snap filters. Go to trojancs.com slash snap filters to help celebrate America Night and to, and to cheer on the Trojans versus Gainesville. JV and ninth grade football both got wins over Troop County yesterday here at home to start the football weekend off right. Great job, football. Okay, so here are today's CHS sports announcements. Varsity football versus Gainesville at 7.30. The student section theme is America. Varsity softball versus Trojan Slam, I'm sorry, varsity softball at Trojan Slam tournament versus South Paulding at 5.15. JV Volleyball is also playing North Paulding slash Trinity Christian at 5.30 and 7.30 in the Ox Gym. Coming tomorrow in Trojan Sports, Varsity Softball is at the Trojan Slam Saturday's game versus Cedartown at 11.15. Varsity Volleyball at Johns Creek, Air Force JROTC Raiders Meet Cheer Classic at the University of Georgia Coliseum. And now it's time for college football picks, and welcome our special guest. All right, all right, we got our special guest. All right, thanks, bro. Hey, great job on sports. 
We got our special guest, Evan. Now, Evan is, he's uh, with Coach Newton's first period class that won college football picks last week. So congratulations on the picks last week. And let's get to this week's picks. Are you feeling it? All right. So I know we, we gave you a little bit of a heads up. Rose, you're picking blind here, but that's okay. You, you'll figure it out, right? Oh, you, yeah. You looked at it earlier. All right. So here we go. Here come the college football picks for this week. First game, Vanderbilt at Georgia State. You got your SEC team rolling into Atlanta. Um, now they're going to Georgia State. Vanderbilt, Georgia State. What do you got, Evan? Georgia State. Georgia State going Georgia State. All right, what do you got? Georgia State. Oh, Georgia State. You want? I want to pick Georgia State, but I feel like it's a trap game. It feels good to pick Georgia State, but kind of like Georgia Tech last week, that's probably not the pick. So I'm going to go with the Commodores going into Georgia State. Got to pick Vandy on that one. All right, here's one that you didn't see coming as a one-in-one -one game. Texas A&M at Florida. Wow. How do you pick a winner out of this one? Texas A&M or Florida? I'm going to go with Texas A&M. Texas A&M. This is probably a solid choice. What do you got? Texas. Texas A&M. I think I'm going to go Texas A&M too. You know, going into Florida, Florida needs to look bad against Miami. They may rebound against A&M, but A&M looked pretty solid against Notre Dame. Then again, Northern Illinois did beat Notre Dame. Who knows on that game? Good luck. All right, so here's – this one's got some upset smell to it. Number nine, Oregon, going into Corvallis playing Oregon State. The Ducks or the Beavers? What do you think? The Ducks. Ducks? I'm going to say Beavers. Beavers. I'm going to Oregon State too. I'm picking the upset on this one. Number nine – May go down in Corvallis because Oregon State's still upset that Oregon left the big the Pac-12. Well, the Pac-4 now, whatever it is. All right, now here's another tough one. Maybe, maybe not. South Carolina goes into Kentucky and destroys Kentucky. LSU took the loss a couple weeks ago to USC. 16 LSU going into South Carolina. What are your thoughts on that one? LSU. LSU. Yeah, I definitely think LSU. You think LSU? Oh man, I, yeah. Yeah, I really want to pick South Carolina, but I can't. Got to go with LSU because the South Carolina hype, I can't believe it two weeks in a row, even though it's at South Carolina. Pick LSU. All right, here's our big pickup game. You got to give us your tie break numbers in the comments for this one. Number 20, Arizona. It's a Big 12 matchup now. 20, Arizona in the Big 12 going to number 14, Kansas State. Wildcats or Wildcats? Which one we got? Wildcats. Oh, Wildcats. I know what. Arizona or Kansas State? Uh, Arizona. Arizona. Kansas State. Kansas State. I'm picking the purple Kansas State Wildcats as well. And uh, my score for Arizona Kansas State is pretty low scoring because K-State's got a good defense. We'll go 21-14 on that one. You got a score for me? 20-16. to 20-16. to 16. I'm going to say 20-14. to 20-14. to 14. We're keeping it low. All right. What are your picks? Put them in the comment section below, and good luck this week. I'm going to leave it with Rose for the rest of our sports and senior section. All right. Thank you so much. It's day 17 for the announcement gift card giveaway. Our 17th winner is Mr. Blakemore, and yesterday's gift card winner did not claim their gift card during first period. So Mr. Blakemore claims his, uh, his gift cards first period, then he gets two gift cards. Be sure to comment and let us know if you would prefer a Chick-fil-A, Kroger, or Starbucks gift card this morning. And remember, if Mr. Blakemore doesn't claim the gift cards during first period, they will roll over to another possible lucky winner tomorrow. Not tomorrow, on Monday. Now on to our senior section. The Gay Scholarship deadline is Sunday, September 15, 2024. Our Georgia Secretary of State, Student Ambassadors, and League of Women Voters are hosting a voter registration drive today in the Media Center from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. If your class is not already participating, please stop by during your lunch period to register to vote. Bring a driver's license or social security number. Students who are 17 and a half or older are welcome to attend. Teachers and staff who need to make changes or update their voter registration are also welcome to attend. Contact Ms. Fisher in the College and Career Center, room F112, if you have any questions or need assistance signing up for the upcoming events, or scan the QR code on the cafeteria display. It's now time to head over to Jack for the CHS Weather Report. Carrollton High School, this is your Chief Weather Reporter Jackson Ness with your Football Friday Weather Update. Today's weather is calling for a forecast high of 72 and a low of 67. It will be cloudy with rain showers during the day. CHS, have a great Friday and a great weekend. Now back to our anchors for today in history. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, it should be a really, really great weekend for college football. I mean, we're going to get to see UGA crush Kentucky. It should be great. But Audrey, 
What's your score prediction for Arizona, Kansas State? 63-45, Kansas. Wow, quite a shootout. Okay, I'm going to go 14-10, Arizona. So it should be a great game. Today in history, in 1940, 1940 near Montague, France, four teenagers discover a collection of prehistoric cave paintings when they stumble upon an ancient artwork after finding their dog down a narrow entrance into a cavern. Wow. Well, you know, Audrey, after reading this this morning, I really got inspired to do some art, and I figure I will share just how far my artwork has come as a student, and I mean, I'm really working on it, so I hope you guys think this is impressive. And the SAT word of the week is apathetic. As used on the SAT, meaning sh feeling or showing little emotion. Yes. And as used in a sentence, when I asked Audrey for help on my econ homework, she was apathetic. <laughs> it is what it is. Yes. And we have some birthdays today, so very big celebrations. Huge happy birthday to Kedwin Flores. Josephine Thomas and Olman Romero, huge birthdays. And happy birthday to Hutch Ayers Mulcher getting older. And we have a weekend birthday for my friend George Carden, so happy birthday. Wow. Um, and that is all for us this morning. Thank you for watching the Carrollton Morning Announcements. We hope you have a fabulous Friday and go, go Trojans. Trojans.